channel. So I thought it'd be a nice idea to share all of my finished colouring pages in Anastasia Calderiva's colouring books. Now I do believe she's got another one that's meant to be out. Is it the end of the year, fall term? I'm not 100% sure. So let's just get started. I think I might need to clean my desk protector. It's really good this one because you just pop it into the washing machine and it comes out like brand new. Anyway, so I'm going to start off with her newest one. Now I'm probably going to butcher some of these names so I do apologise. But Am Amarantine, is that how you pronounce it? But this is her latest one. It's a beautiful book. It's beautiful. And because I ordered it through my husband's PayPal, it says Dear Daniel, which I was laughing my head off when I uh, opened that up. Instead of to Debbie or Deborah. But yeah, I haven't done a whole lot in this one. I've done one or two pages, I believe. Yep, so I did the dragon page. I love how you turned out. The background didn't turn out as I wanted. I ended up going in with a, a matte black acrylic paint, the Americana, and I just didn't like the way that it looked. And then I went over it with a white chalk and then made it look even worse. So I just thought, I'm just going to go ahead and put paint on it and hope for the best. This bit of uh, background here is watercolour. Now, watercolour in this book don't really mix all that well, but the, the shiny watercolour that I used, that was the KJ Designs by Karen and the Renaissance colour in chrome. It's absolutely beautiful. So I do think that I saved it. And the colouring pencils, I think it was polychromos. I think I want to say but I love how he turned out um, let me just flip through I probably should have tagged these pages but I didn't uh, is that the only one that I've done in this book it must be right well I'm going to keep that out this book out for this month to make myself remember to colour in that one and I know I've only done one in this one now I bought this one second hand off a friend uh, it was practically brand new when I bought it off her and I've only done the one colouring page I do find these quite detailed I think it's just the one. Oh no I've done two I've done two and I did this one with Faber Castell the Albert Dura watercolour pencils and then just a bit of gel pen for detailing on the little dragons so you can see it's a little bit shiner and it did buckle, it buckled quite badly actually and a bit of distress ink in the background so yeah just be careful with uh, water in these books but this one was done with Tombow uh, brush pens Jane Davenport Mermaid markers for that cool background and then over the top, I think it was Prismacolor just for a little bit of pencil detailing. But just keep in mind with the Jane Davenport Mermaid markers, they do bleed through. Now because this is single sided, it's okay. But if you're worried about the page on the back, you're probably going to sacrifice it if you're using them markers. So we've got Noctunes. Noctones, Noctunes. I'll start it from the back, it's easier. So we did this one double 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 check in and I, I can see that I've put loads and loads of stickles on that I've not used stickles in the longest time so I need to pull them back out again I'm not quite sure what I used in the background it does feel like watercolour it does and I'm not sure with the pencils either I think that might have been a little bit of pan pastel as well on the skin and some glossy accents on the eyes I sort of go through phases like with the stickles and the glossy, glossy accents for what I use in, in months I did this, this was a recent one actually with all with polychromos and I didn't bother going ahead and doing the background I probably could just do a matte black acrylic paint background for this one it'd probably look quite nice but I initially did the spider and I got that out of the way and then when I was colouring the rest of the page I was keeping this covered up so I didn't have to keep stirring it but I'm really pleased with that one, really pleased with the skin tone and the fact that I managed to sit here and colour a tarantula We've got the Alice in Wonderland inspired page. I've seen this one done so many times on Instagram. They're so beautiful. Um, I think the background with this, it might have been watercolour again. Or it might have even been distressing. I popped distressing on a palette and picked it up with a brush. Uh, the pencils might have been polychromos again, actually. But yeah, she's really, really cute. This one. 
I loved the actual image in the background. I was really disappointed in myself for adding all of them circles. I feel like I spoiled it a little bit. But I was so proud of the skin with this one. Uh, the cat, uh, I probably could done a lot better. You can literally see each stroke of the pencil and that's not intentional. That's just probably me being a little bit lazy there with the, with the fur. But yeah, the actual skin tone on her, I'm really, really pleased with her and the eye makeup. Super nice. So, have I done any more? I have. Just checking again. Yep, so I've done this one. And I was really happy with that, how this one turned out again. And it was Neo Color 2 in the background and it, I just struggle so much with water in these boots. It's so unfortunate because they are quite expensive with the shipping added on top. And I like to use all different sorts of medium. But I think I pulled this off. Used some metallic paint on the little beads. And then a little bit of stickles on her eyes for the eyeshadows. But yeah, I think that one's really pretty. I could have gone in with more detail on her in hindsight. So I've got, is it Mysteria? Mysteria. How uh, many have I done in this one? Let's have a see. Oh yes, I remember doing this and I remember being so proud of it. <laughs> the camera isn't picking up the skin tone all that well. It's looking very, very washed out. I don't know whether it's because of the black background. I'm not sure. But I was proud of the diamonds or jewels. I coloured them in as if they were ambers. So the Tyler got here earlier, that's why I ended up cutting the video off then. Anyway, he's done now. He's done everything he needs to do. Tiles are fixed, yay! Still got a hole in my ceiling though that he's doing. <laughs> uh, I've done this one. This was with the watercolour again on the background. But I used a little bit of pencil for shading because I didn't want to go ahead and use loads and loads of water. Again, because the paper isn't that good for it. You can see how much it's water. I did this one with Copic markers. Let me just, yep, that whole thing is done with Copic markers. And I think I ran out of one colour, that's why I haven't gone back to using it and I'm struggling getting that colour. But I love how that turned out and it looks super pretty on camera as well. Um, I was nervous about the background messing it up because I'd done uh, done a good job with the, with the markers, I didn't want to mess it up. Uh, I've done this one, talking about mess up. She wasn't meant to have all these pink bits and bobs on the on her face. I ended up spilling something, I spilt something on the page, I can't remember what it was. So I just sat for, I had for go for it and I added more pink to make it look like it was meant to be there but it looks like she's bruised. <laughs> A little bit of watercolour again in the background on that one. Uh, how many more have I done in this book? So that bit I've not. And then my dry is going off. We did this one in all pastels and I think she's super pretty with, uh, that's not stickles, that is war embossing powder glitter there, it's so not so so nice and some watercolour paint again on the background with that one have I done any more? I did this one and in my opinion this was a big epic fail I really do not like how this turned out, I don't like the background, I don't like the colours that I chose and I am disappointed because I do really like this picture but it's just one of them things so on to the next one, we've got Serenita, which this is probably my favourite one out of them all actually. I did this one right at the back, that is Pan Pastels on the background, it's like a glittery Pan Pastel. I don't remember the, the pencils on this one and there's no marker, no marker on that one. We did this one. I'm really, really proud of this one. I love how the background turned out. That is two different layers of distressing. So I've done one layer, I did the water effect, let it dry completely and then went over with another layer. And then it was Polychromos pencils again with this, I believe. But I love, 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 love this one. Love this one. We've got my Scorpion Girl. I'm really, really fond of this one as well with the, uh, with the crystals. I went for a really, really purple skin tone. I wish I'd done the background a different a different colour. The, the acrylic paint that I've got is the Arteza one. I've got a couple of different brands of other ones, but the ones that I've got a lot of colours of is the Arteza. And 
I don't particularly like them, but I'm trying my best to use use even the things that I don't like. So I don't want to have loads of chlorine supplies uh, that, I'm not, I'm, that I'm not using. I'm sure you understand that. Uh, we've got the little Nemo's, the clownfish, and this is Neo Color Two, I believe, or watercolor, one of the two. And then the Holbein pastel pencils for the hair. Whoa, that is looking so washed out on camera. Mm, that might be a bit, a bit better. <laughs> she has got a uh, pencil on her skin, but the camera is just, uh, it's not picking it up. So we have the Crow one. Again, Neo Colour 2 is in the background. I'm really happy with that one. And then it's some sort of uh, gel pen on that as well. Uh, we have got this lovely lady, which is probably my favourite out of this book. Let's just see. Yep, so that is the last one. And I love how the hair turned out on this one. I'm really, really proud of this one. I think, did I record this or not? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. The glitter will shine that you can see here is the Paul Rubens watercolour paints. But I went in and added my own eye makeup and give her really funky lashes. I think she's so cool. And I love the braids. I wish I had her like that. So nice. And the very last book is the Mermaid Legends. Now, how many have I done in this one? We've done this one all in pastels and some of the Paul Rubin glitter paints, I believe that at the bottom. Or it might have been the KJ Designs by Karen watercolour paints. I don't really remember. This page here I've wanted to do for the longest time, but I'm not overly keen on all these trinkets, all these bits and bobs. I think they'd take me forever to do. We've got this one, which is watercolour I think. That's definitely a watercolour sea and a sky. We've got this one that I started to do with pan pastel and I didn't like how it was turning out so I have erased it. There is a little bit of a shadowing up there on the paper. What else? This one, I really like the effect that I got out of this one. I just googled jellyfish and uh, these, these are the ones that popped up. And I've done a splatter effect as well on the background. I just moved the paper around, you can see it a little bit better. Really pleased with how she turned out. Is that the last one? Yep, I think that is. Oh no, we've got one more. We've got one more, another jellyfish page. And with this one, I went over the top with the um, Mod Podge Extreme Glitter, as you can see, all over it. But again, I'm really pleased with this one. Super fun. And that dark background was already there on this one, if I just do that, it was already there. But that is all of the pages that I have done in Anastasia's colouring books. I think I'm making a good a good start anyway. I'd love to finish one of her colouring books. I really, really would. Maybe that's my one of my to-do list for this year. But I hope that you enjoyed watching. Please do give me a massive thumbs up if you did. It helps out the channel so much. And subscribe if you're new. I will see you in the next one. Bye!